All right. I would prefer to use dice. In fact, can we use 5d6 for poker? Here you go, sir. Cool. Two, four, six, six, four. Okay, so two, two pair. pair. I see. Oop, that was a four. Three of a kind, high five. What does that mean? I think that means you go first, right? Doesn't I'll go first. Three of a kind beat two pair? Margaret. Help? Yes, okay, she's nodding. Mm -hmm. We're good. I was pretty sure. Oh dear. Nodding does does our content no good. Oh, 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 we, we have the wrong decks. Oh. We got so focused on our game of poker there. That's all right, I'll just shuffle a little bit more. <laughs> Hello. I don't play anymore. That would have been interesting. You know, if I had actually ended up picking the deck for you, mm -hmm. that would have been terrible. Yeah? Why? Uh, because you wouldn't have known... Do you know how the deck works? Uh, so I'm on Oath Storm. Okay. Do you know no, how Oath no works? Idea. Okay, do you know how Storm works? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so you got half of it then. All right. Long story short, I'm going to try to put Grizzlebrand out, draw 14 cards, and win on the spot. Okay. That's basically it. All right, I am taking the play. All right, cool. Mm. I am not keeping this, though. We'll try it. So I'll show the camera what I have going on here. And this is usually where YouTube gives me a nice little... Oh, Nice little thumbnail, auto-generated. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. How does it do that? I'm not in entirely sure how YouTube like, comes it, up with them. Does it pick a picture out of there? It seems to do so when it finds... In human terms, I don't know how best to say it, but it seems like when it finds uh, a prominent picture, one that displays, you know, it's not too scattered, it's pretty focused, mm -hmm. and then it, it picks something like that. That's an awful way of putting it, I'm sure, and, and someone who knows better about it could put in the comments you know, how that would work. But a disproportionate number of my videos will have a th one of the auto-generated thumbnails be the hand flourish out in front of the screen, for instance. Okay. Oh, well, oh, so, yeah, you're oh, good. Okay, I'm keeping you're good. I should... You're good. Um, I guess shops. Oh, hey, hey. So five potential mana here, right? That's, uh, well, yeah. Wait a minute, this costs zero mana, so yeah, five. Yeah, very good. Ooh, fun. Sorcerer Spyglass? Uh... Fudge. Fudge. Uh, I will show you Gitaxian Probe. Mm -hmm. My lands are City of Brass. I have Double of the Druid. Druids. Grim Monolith. Mox Opal. Alright. Can each player upkeep that player controls fewer creatures than player when you're And I'll what? play my field. All creatures. Okay, I'm the So pick. basically, if you ever have more creatures than I have, I will get to get a creature out. And put it on the battlefield. Not equal to, but greater than. Yes, and, and put it on the battlefield. All right, I'm going to choose... Nothing. Yeah, okay. Well, geez, I, I wonder what it's going to be. It's got to be one of these two, so... Let's choose any card name. Yeah, but it only hits activated abilities. Okay, yeah. Unless they're mana, so... I guess I'm going to have to pick... Or you can name something that's not in my hand, theoretically, but... You know... Bird in the hand. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name Grizzlebrand. Now, I did give him... Now, granted, if you yeah. only saw this, you see Oath, you know Grizzlebrand. Okay, so I did have some, some that information. Is no, no, but that's right. If you were playing a vintage tournament with the knowledge that a vintage player would have, naming Grizzlebrand is correct. I would say. Would that be, right. a, be the right play then? I don't know if it's necessarily the right play, but it's a viable play. So, I'm still you're good. Die next turn. Okay, so I have three. You're not going to die next turn because you named Grizzlebrand. 
All right. Okay. Um. Yeah, it, it resolves. I mean, Spoiler con- alert. Construct. Yep. Past turn. I would like to take a look at your hand, please. Mm-hmm. Hangerback Sphere. Okay, cool. So I see Hangerback Sphere, and I'll draw a card. Oh, hey, there we go. I would like to play a City of Brass, followed by a Mox Opal. Mm-hmm. Better or worse, pass the turn. Okay. You'll take. Uh, let's do a little coin toss. Now, the way that I tend to do the coin toss for Mana Crypt mm-hmm. is that if it's odds, it's treated as tails. If it's even, it's treated as heads. Okay. Would that be all right? Yep. All right, it's odd. So you take three. Woo! Spoiler alert, I don't think that matters much in this match. All right, draw? Yes. All right. That seems pretty good. No wonder these cards are so expensive, right? Mm. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So hanger backer, hanger backer, hanger back for three. I dig yeah. it. And he's a 4-4, four, four, right? Yes, it's a 4-4. Four, four. And then I'm going to tap Mana Crypt. I'm going to play Sphere of Resistance. This is going well. Oh, this is going I'm well. Gonna combat. Swing two. I'm a taking two. Oh, I'm a taking two. Pass turn. Cool. Not actually cool, but we're going to pretend it is. I'll take two. Okay. I would like to cast a ponder. Go for it. I have no interactions. I'm F is Xing. Let me make sure I put them up the right way. Not turn them upside down. Ponder resolves. Mm-hmm. Finishes resolving. I'll pass turn. Upkeep man crypt. Would you like to do the honors of throwing it back and forth between your hands? Go for it. You're, you've got the on camera. Cool, okay, so you take no damage. Mm-hmm. I'll draw. I feel that that's about the most random way that you can do something yeah. like that with your hands. I feel like that too. Um, let me add that one more. Down. Yeah. So one floating. One floating. I'm which you have else. no cards in hand, right? Mm-hmm. Whee! Oh, right. God. Oh, God. Oh, construct. So I'm about to take three, eight here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Go I on. think I just lose, don't I? Pass the turn. I'll play it out, but I'm about to take eight. Go to six. Yeah, I know what the next card is. We're going to concede. Okay. I had Oath, obviously, but I didn't get an extra turn. That automaton, vintage playable. Yeah. What, Sorcerer Spyglass? Spyglass was, was, I mean. Interval? Theoretically, it didn't do anything that game, but it was also good. <laughs> In the context of this deck, Graft Digger's Cage keeps me from winning off of Oath. And in this case, it also keeps me from winning off of Yawgmoth's will. Now, in and of itself, that's not the end of the world because I have a third potential one con. But it's stu- it's just down two of them, so it's something. All right. 
All right, here we no, go. That means we are not playing a sideboard game. We're playing a main board game in game two. It's good practice anyway, just in case this happens to be what you run. Yeah. What is that deck? This Did deck? we get them backwards? Yeah. You're looking at your deck, right? Yeah. 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 Cut mine again, please. Sure. Oh, did you just you, you shuffle again? In the process of talking about all of that, you're yeah. probably not paying attention. Yeah. Just no worries. Yeah. This is this is one your deck, but I would like to be on the play, Good obviously. Part. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Let me think about this. I don't think this is keepable. It has mana, but it doesn't have the right mana. No, unfortunately. Oh. Well, it is what it is. Margaret, you have any ibuprofen? I would have liked to keep that. It had two Moxen, neither of which was blue, three blue cards in hand, Grizzlebrand, Time Vault. Mm. So it wasn't really keepable, but then yeah. the next card was City of Brass. So had I known that... We kept that bad boy. Yeah, i probably keep seven, knowing that the next card can make blue mana. And then the, the blue cards were Brainstorm, Time Twister... I don't remember what the other one was. Once you have two Moxen out, you can Time Twister reload. That's fine. Alright, let's see what this one grants me. Alright. It's better than going to five, so I'll keep it. Scry. Is that even a question? Spoiler alert, it is not. I will keep. I would like to play City of Brass. Mox Ruby. I would like to play a Voltaic Key. Yes, a Voltaic Key. And I will pass the turn. Draw. Alright, that seems good. Pearl. Okay. Pearl. Workshop. Ooh, what hi. Is, what does that do? It taps for one man of any color at the cost of pinging me for one. Oh. That's it's great. something to the effect of when this land is tapped for mana, take one damage, so it's something that goes on the stack. That guy. Inspector, okay. Inspector Gadget. I'm sure that's already a popular enough name. Ooh. Mmm. Okay. And I'll pass turn. Yeah, that's a thing. Gee, I wonder what I just drew. I will pay one mana. I'd like to play Ancestral Recall targeting myself. Mm -hmm. It resolves because this is shops. Pass turn. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. Um, ancient tomb. Okay. Moths? Uh, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> One man of moths. Yeah. Um, Still not modern playable. Chief of the Foundry, right? So yeah. Four. Still not allowable in modern is a better way of putting it. Take four. And then pass turn. Welcome to Tribal Constructs. Where the rules are made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> I have three mana. 
I have four mana because Mox Ruby counts. Let me think. That's always important. May I see your land base again? Sure. Ancient Tomb, Mishra's Workshop. Okay. Cool. Oh. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. It cost one less, it cost one more, so you can only you only need to do the three mana oh, okay. from shop. Sorry. You're good. Yeah, they, they negate each other there. Then I'm gonna go to combat. Alright. Swing for six. Yeah, I'll take six. Now yeah, pass turn. At the end of your turn. Uh oh. Famous last words in magic. I would like to cast Hercules Recall. Recall. Return all artifacts target player controls to its owner's hand. So you'll return all your artifacts. All of them go back. That's correct. That's pretty good. Good old Hercules Recall. Yeah. I remember the good old days of playing that in modern. I would like to go to my turn. Go for it. Okay, well that sucks. But, uh... That's a thing, I guess. Let me see. Do you know what Grim Monolith does? It doesn't untap during your untap step, but uh, I can tap it for three colorless, or I can untap it for four mana. Spoiler alert, I won't be doing that too much. Okay, so all this is F6, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. So three mana, two mana, five mana, uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, by the way, I had to take one off of the City of Brass. Uh, nine mana, four which is blue. We're going to spend four of it. And therefore, we're going to leave three blue, two colorless. Mm -hmm. On paradoxical outcome, return any number of target non-land, non-token permanents you control to their owner's hands. Draw a card for each card, returning your hand this way. Whee! I would like to play. I would like to return these three to my hand and draw three cards. Go for it. One, two, three. Mox Ruby. Mox Pearl. So this deck is is doing a thing. And it's a very technical magic charm. It's doing a thing. It's doing a thing, you see. Alright, spin two colorless. Grim monolith. Mm -hmm. Voltaic key. Mm -hmm. Three. Colorless is back in the pool. So, three blue, three colorless, two colorless, five colorless, three colorless, six colorless, seven colorless, it's red, but for the purpose of this deck, it's colorless. Paradoxical outcome. No, no. Two blue, four colorless. 
I'm going to spin the red just so that we don't have as much confusion. I would like to draw five cards. Okay. One, two, three, four, five! Pearl Ruby. Opal. Crypt. Hmm. Spend two colors on Monolith, tap it for three. Spend two of that on Monolith, tap it for three. So four? Yep, four. And still two blue in the pool. Key three. Uh, two. Untap it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Add another blue. Go back to two blue for paradoxical outcome. So at this point, I mean, I, I know it's kind of infinite mana, but yeah. seven cards. I'll draw seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Soul Ring. Two. Monolith. Three. Monolith. Three, four. Just on that. Opal, Crypt, Ruby, Pearl, Key Down, uh, Opal for Black this time. Uh, I guess I'll actually play the, the top first. And then the Opal for Black is for Yogmoss Will. Yoghorn Leghorn is going to get me Paradoxical out. I mean, th th so. Until end of turn, you may play cards in your graveyard as though they were in your hand. I have three paradoxical outcomes in my graveyard. They're effectively all in my hand. At some point, I'm going to get uh, Time Vault Voltaic Key. I would like to take infinite turns from there. Gotcha. Would that be okay? Yes. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so that's where this, that's where this deck goes. Now, it's normally, it would be pretty bad that both Grizzlebrands are stranded in your hand, yeah. but in this case, I can actually hard cast Grizzlebrand, weirdly enough, by recurring Mox Opals enough times. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, and wow. eventually I'll find Black Lotus, which will give me Black by Black. Yeah. Yeah, fun times. Done. <laughs> I mean, this is the bottom card of my deck, it is not. I also had Forbidden Orchard, and I haven't played a land drop that turn, so. Yeah. Winner, winner. Chicken, Chicken dinner. dinner. If you're going to play Vintage, it's probably best you play it with a bottle of wine. It's, like a, <laughs> it's the fancier of the. You know, that would be a good bottle of wine. So if you can afford to play vintage, vintage, that's true. You have to... The other side of the coin is that vintage is an alternate breathalyzer test. Yeah. If you can play a game of vintage, then clearly you aren't too far gone. Have uh, you been drinking? Yes, but I just beat. Uh, what is this? Shops. shops? Uh, two to Were one. Were you sir. the shops <laughs> player? <laughs> yes. Okay, you're still drunk. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Were you playing Storm? Yeah. Yes. Okay, you're good. Okay, good to go. <laughs> I'm obviously going to get the play. All right, very well. On the play. A, 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 a. What do you say? I say keep this. All right. I don't think I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, good. I think i got things to do here. I don't know. Why is I don't know. Is it the house? Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I think you scared that spider away. With I you can't. Can you can't keep it? Sorry to interrupt, Margaret. No, you're fine. It's, uh, these are my moxen. These are my lands. Force of Will with no blue card. Yogmas Will with no payout. Payout. Yeah. Payoff. <laughs> I'll take six. So if you have anything going on, I have no defenses to it, and I have no quick way to win. And I'm on the draw. I 
think that this is probably correct. I get a scry just in case I'm wrong. I don't want to lose to a turn one Trinisphere. Mm. I hear that's pretty good. It's pretty good. It does work. Yeah, I believe you. There you go. Hey. A no cut cut. Ooh. Card that I would clearly have cited out is in the hand. <laughs> but we're not doing sideboard, so it's fine. Neither he nor I, so it's it's fine. I will keep. Take a look. Okay. I think that that's perfectly fine to have there. I'll try it. Go for it. Marks. Hello. Tune. Yep. Do chalice on zero. I hear that's pretty good against what I'm doing. And then we'll take two. Play a foundry. Oh, hello. Inspector. Then I pass turn. Gee, I wonder what I just drew. So, Spire of Industry, Sensei's Divining Top. Pass the turn. <clears throat> you know, this banned card in Legacy. Yeah. It's pretty good. Oh, it sucks that I even drew that. Mm. I just drew a zero cost artifact. Ooh, yeah. It's still so good, you can't not run it, but mm. yeah, unfortunate. Want to go to combat? Yes. Swing three. Chalice is one of those cards that's already good no matter what, but it's much better on the play. I'm going to play uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass. Alright, um, my hand consists of Time Walk, Time Vault, Forbidden Orchard, City of Brass, Defense Grid. I'm going to get rid of Defense Grid. Um, so, oh, wait. Defense Grid doesn't have an activated ability. Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is just a static ability. Oh yeah, that's right. So, Sorry. of the things that you see, your only targets are Sensei's, Sensei's Divining Top and Time Vault. Alright, I guess And I'm... the fact that I said Sensei's Divining Top, even though it's not in my hand... Yeah. Uh, sensei, sensei, uh, sensei's Divining Top. Okay. I, have, I haven't had any one. No, no, that's correct. Okay. So Time Vault is the one that actually wins the game, but Top gets me there, so I think that that's correct. All right. You don't know, perhaps, how many keys I have in this deck? But I think that that's correct. That said, the fact that I didn't do anything with the top in response... Well, I don't know, it's fine. Can you do anything? I, mean, I could theoretically have it in response to Spyglass spun it, but it doesn't that, really that, make much of a difference. Yeah. You know better than I do. Since I don't have a way to shuffle before I have the chance to draw the top anyway, it mm -hmm. doesn't make much of a difference. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Cool beans. You have one card in hand now? I have six cards in hand, one oh. of which you don't know. Oh, that's right, that's right, sorry. City of Brass. Mm -hmm. I would like to, if I may, take an extra turn. Sure. Yeah, something to do about that. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> All right, woo, on to my next turn. That was, that was exciting. I would like to play a Mana Crypt. Mm -hmm. I would like to play a Forbidden Orchard and give you a 1-1 one, one Spirit. Ooh, thank you. We'll make this guy. Then, because I have an artifact in play, I actually have multiple artifacts, but who cares? I would like to play the card in my hand you don't know about. I would like to play a Wheel of Fortune. Okay. We must each discard our hands and draw seven new cards. Ooh. Okay. What about that life? So, discard Time Vault Defense Grid. Discard. Wait a minute. Did I? 
What did I spend the two mana on then? Okay, I got a little ahead of myself. The reason I played the Forbidden Orchard and gave you a spirit is that I was supposed to play the Time Vault, and I got a little ahead of myself. I was supposed to go Time Vault, then Wheel of Fortune. Okay. In a casual game, is that okay if I... Absolutely. Otherwise, it's fine. I, I can no, just absolutely. not yeah. do it. Yeah, go for okay, it. Cool. I'd uh, much rather you play it the most optimal way. Most optimal? Optimally? Welcome okay. to Magic at 11 o'clock. Like, it can't be that early. It's pretty, it I've been up like since 3.30, early. so it's... Yeah. It's a, I feel you. It's a long day. Okay. So you'll discard your hand draw seven. All right. That applies to both of us. Discarding a Mox Pearl and a Hanger Back Walker. Fair enough. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. I did not do that in my count voice from Sesame Street. Yeah. Unfortunately. Boom. Boom. Alright. Alright. Um. I would like to play a Mox Jet. No? Okay. You caught that. Thank you. Yeah. I'm looking at a Mox Emerald in my hand and I'm thinking, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Camera couldn't see, but I did that. He, he gave me the, the coolest nope. Yeah. All right. I will pass. The, that is tapped. I will pass the turn. Okay. Time Vault begins tapped. Yeah, comment section, I apologize. So, if I untap it, I give you an extra turn. If I untap it through its own ability, I give you an extra turn. If mm -hmm. I tap it, I get an extra turn. The way this is supposed to work, the way it was designed to work, is that I give you an extra turn on my, on my terms, and then I take an extra turn on my terms. Clearly, that is not what we are trying to do in this deck. Mm. A. So uncounterable. Uncounterable, okay. yes. Because I did name construct when I played the Cavern Souls. Yup. No, it's fine. In the context of a tribal deck, I just assume it's always that. Well, actually, even though there's an exception in the deck, I. That's fair enough. I still have one floating still. Because of that. Right? Yep, that's correct. So if you want to, so it's the one floating from Ancient Tomb. Yeah. Fair enough. So I'm going to do Steel Overseer. Um, Try to. That's good. All right. I'm then going to go to combat. I'm going to attempt to swing for four or five. Right, it's a one yeah. one spirit. Yeah. And that's it. That's all I got. Okay. Well. Um, what am I expecting next turn? Oh my god. Oh. My. God. So if I let you go to your next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm at nine. Cool. So I have to do it this turn. So Oath is out. Oath is right. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Evens. Okay, I'm safe. Okay. Not that it matters, apparently. Okay. How can I win from here? Can I win from here? Yes. Yes, I can. Oh my god. Yes, I can. Okay. Well, this is dumb, but... Oh, wait a minute! Oh, crap! Oh! Oh, that's so bad. Um, no, it's fine. We're fine. Okay, there's a lot going on here, clearly. I would like to make two mana. Okay. I would like to make one mana and take one. I would like to cast Demonic Tutor. Go for it. 
I tapped incorrectly. Hopefully it doesn't matter from here, but I, I did indeed tap it incorrectly. It's supposed to be city instead of spire, and That's you'll fine. see why in just a moment. You can fix it. All right, the, the joys of not playing the deck normally. I'm about to play what, I, what I'm going to show you anyway, so give me just a moment. Mm -hmm. It's obviously Voltaic Key because I want to take infinite turns, but don't concede here because I actually have to run this correctly. Mana Crypt can kill me, even though infinite turns. So I have to do this the right way. And the reason I do it this way is that Spire can tap for colorless so that I don't take an extra one. Okay. So, in case that matters, which it, it very well might. Now, we'll take key, untap time vault, tap time vault, give me an extra turn. Before, yeah, I actually just finished shuffle, but shuffling. But we're going to Forbidden Orchard, Vampiric Tutor. Okay. I would like to put a given, a certain card on top of my deck. Okay. Do it. Given the rest of what's in my hand. I can do this a number of ways, but... So, there's a time twister in my hand. Mm -hmm. I can go for a Telerian Academy and try to make... I haven't made a land drop this turn, so I can make one, two, three, four, time twister, and try to go off this turn. Or just... Even Paradoxical Outcome just to get the Mana Crypt out of my hand. Basically, that's what I'm trying to do. I need to get Mana Crypt out of my hand so I don't auto-lose to it. Once I do that, I'm safe. Or I can Paradoxical take one more turn and be okay, probably. That's what I'll do. I think I'm safe if I do that. It's not guaranteed, but I will Vampiric Tutor... Take two, because that's part of the cost. If I paradoxical here, I can take three on my next upkeep, go to three, city, two, and then, and then I'm safe. Okay, so we're fine. This is the correct line of play, I believe. So, I don't actually have to show you that it's Paradoxical Outcome because Vampiric Tutor doesn't clarify information and therefore it doesn't have to reveal. Mm -hmm. But I am going to play it next turn anyway, so who cares? Goes on top of my deck. Draw it for my next extra turn. Whee! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Whee! All right, I'm safe. All right. Draw it. Spire of Industry. Untap Time Vault. Tap Time Vault. Take an extra turn. One, two, three. Take one. Go to five. I actually don't even have to do that. I can just Forbidden Orchard give you another spirit so that I don't have to take the one. Paradoxical Outcome. Return Sensei's Divining Top Mana Crypt to my hand. Draw two cards. And I think I'm safe at this point, actually. I, I don't think you can win from here, because I'm going to take extra turns for the rest of the game. Uh, and I don't have to take life off, life loss off of it through Spire of Industry, mm -hmm. nor do I have to give you extra creatures. Um, and then on my next turn after that, drawing two... Um, I guess I can just use the Forbidden Orchards to play Oath in my hand, and then on my next turn, Grizzlebrand was not the card I drew, so I'll Oath into Grizzlebrand. Grizzlebrand gets me some... Oh, there's a Memory's Journey and a Mind's Desire. Please, Yogmas will. Where's Yogmas will? You know what, we're just going to do this. A little faster. A little bit faster. And, oh god, and a tendrils. And Grizzlebrand. So we didn't get the Yogwill, but um, we have Grizzlebrand. Grizzlebrand, I'm at six life. That's not actually enough to draw more cards. But with all these cards in my graveyard, I can Memories Journey to put back, um, I guess, Vampiric Tutor, Demonic Tutor. Time walk if I need to. 
So the, the memories journey is actually important because you can get to a point where you don't have the cards left in your deck to win through the storm kill, so you can memories journey to put them back in your deck. Okay. Um, cool. Hello. That's mom saying there's food. Cool. I will take food. <laughs> food is good. Food is always good. Um, good game? Good game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I was F6 in there. Like, Super <laughs> duper F6. Yeah. Vintage. Yay. I like Oathstorm. This isn't the only Oathstorm deck that exists, but Paradoxical Outcome is too good of a card not to play. Yeah, I think. that's really some great... Uh, <laughs> It yeah, works really well in that guy. You're essentially trying to beat me through, like, turn one, resolve something that keeps me from playing magic, and yeah. then go from there. Yeah. That gets pretty much early in. beats in. Uh oh, uh oh. Did I do it backwards? I, I, I think I noticed that they were upside down. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're good. It happens. I, oh, here's the, here's the OCD one. that I don't actually have, but I could see it, you know, when you look at it this way. Oh, there we are. Ta-da! Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Great games.